Recently, PyScript was released. This is a new technology that allows us to write Python code in the browser. So we all need to write and run Python code in HTML to build web applications. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to run Python visualizations such as line plots and bar plots on a web browser using PyScript. So let's get started. So we'll continue with this tutorial in a second, but first I'd like to talk about Medium. Medium is a platform where you can find thousands of Python tutorials, data science guides, and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. To start with this tutorial, first we have to create an HTML file. So open your IDE or text editor and create an HTML file. In my case, I'm on PyCharm and I'm going to right click here on this folder and click on new file. So now I'm going to name it as tutorial.html as you can see here. So I just write this and press enter. And with this, we have this HTML file. So we start with an HTML file. All right, now we have to call an HTML template to start with this tutorial. So in most text editors and IDs, you can only uh, write HTML and then press tab to create a template. And in PyCharm, I have to write doc and then press tab to create this template that you can see here. In case you didn't get this template, I'm going to leave this code in the description so you can start with this template. All right, once we have this template, we need to go to this website, which is pyscript.net, and we have to copy this code that is here in the install section. So I click on install and now I have to copy the code that is here. So I copy this. Now I'm going back to PyCharm and I'm going to paste it here. So this is the two lines that we copied and pasted here. And this allows us to write Python code in this HTML document. All right, now let's load the libraries that we're going to use to create our Python visualizations. And to do that, we have to use that py-env tag. So I write py-env and press tab. And here you have to list all the libraries that you're going to use in this uh, HTML document. So all the Python libraries. And I'm going to write only matplotlib. So some scientific libraries like matplotlib and numpy can be listed here without any extra installation. And with this, we loaded this Python library that we're going to use in this tutorial. Okay, now let's write Python code in this HTML document. And also let's see if everything is successfully set up. So here in the body, I'm going to first write an h1 tag just to write a title. So here I write matplotlib. And this is simply HTML code. So now I'm going to write pi hyphen script to write Python code. So pi hyphen script allows me to write Python code. So here, for example, I can use the print function and print a hello world message. So I write hello world. And this is a Python code. And we can use that because we're using the pi hyphen script tag. So anything that is inside this tag is Python code. So here we have our code. And now we can see if everything is successfully set up by opening this HTML file in our web browser. So we can do that by going here to the right corner and clicking on this Chrome button. So I press here and I have this document. So I have this matplotlib uh, title and this hello world message. So this is my HTML document that I opened on the browser. In case that you don't have PyCharm, you can still open this HTML document on the web browser by going to your, uh, your working directory and then opening this HTML file. So here I have my file and I only have to right click on it and then click on open with and then select the browser that you want. So in this case, I want Google Chrome. So I click on Google Chrome and we're going to get the same result. So I have Matplotlib and here my hello world message. So great. With this, we successfully set up this HTML document and we're printing uh, this uh, hello world, which is Python code. So we're running Python code 
in this HTML document. Okay, and now let's create a line plot and show it here in our browser. And to do that, first we have to write Python code that creates a line plot. And we can do that, of course, with Matplotlib. And here I have the script ready. So this is a script that creates a line plot. So I'm gonna walk you through this script very fast. Here first I import Matplotlib as PLT. And then we have the data of population in two countries. So I have the year and the population for country number one and the year and population for country number two. And then we plot this with plt.plot. So this is the first line and this is the second line. So our line plot is gonna have two lines. And then I just um, show the labels, so X label, Y label, and the title. So this is gonna be a line plot with two lines and also we're gonna see the labels. So this is a basic line plot and we're gonna put this inside our HTML document. And as you might remember to write Python code inside this HTML document, we only have to write here pi hyphen script and then press enter. So here we can paste our Python code. So I just have to press control B and here we have the code that is actually Python code, but is inside this HTML document. So it's exactly what we had before and now is in the HTML document. And now to show this line plot in our web browser, we have to add an extra attribute and this attribute is called output. And here you can set it equal to any name you want. In my case, I'm gonna set it equal to line plot. So I have output equal to line plot. And now we have to create a div. And in this div, we have to set an ID equal to line plot two. So they need to have the same name as you can see here. All right, once you have this div and this pie script ready, you can show the results in the web browser by clicking here on Chrome. And now let's give it a second. And as you can see here, we have our Matplotlib title, then hello world message, and also the plot that we created using Python code. So this is our plot and now is in the web browser. Great, and now I wanna show you one more thing you can do here. So instead of just copying and pasting the code inside this pi hyphen script, what you can do is just call this pi script here in this pi hyphen script. So I'm gonna show you here and Instead of copying and pasting, we can add an um, attribute called src. And here we can just write the name of our pi script. So here I write my line plot.py. So this is the name of my script. And this is gonna call what is here. So everything that is in this my hyphen line plot.py is gonna be uh, loaded here in this pi hyphen script. So we only have to add this src attribute. So let's test this out. I press here again on this Chrome. And now we have here Matlib, hello world, and we still have this plot with the same result. And one extra detail that I wanna mention is that here you need to use this fig uh, comma x equal to plt.subplots because this is how you show the figure that you're creating here. So I didn't manage to do this with a simple plt.show, which is what we usually do to show our plot, but I could only do this using this fig variable as you can see here. So that's an extra thing that you should keep in mind when creating these visualizations and running this Python code in this HTML document. And that's it for this video. In this video, we'll learn how to run Python visualizations in our web browser using PyScript. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.